Members of the all-black Tuskegee Airmen are some of the most highly decorated military pilots in our nation's history. But there was one honor that was overlooked for more than 70 years, until now. CBS's David Martin has the story. It was the first Top Gun contest held in 1949, a gunnery competition among pilots from across the Air Force, won by a team from the famed all-black Tuskegee Airmen even though the record book listed the winner as unknown. They knew who won, but they just didn't want to recognize us. Retired Lieutenant Colonel James Harvey is 98 years old, but it's easy to still see the fighter pilot who was part of that winning team. Here he is with the trophy. What happened to the trophy? Well, it mysteriously got lost. Until 2005, when a historian found it in storage at an Air Force museum. She says, why isn't this on display? And the guy said, we can't display everything, but this item will never be on display. It's on display now, and last week, a plaque commemorating the first Top Guns was unveiled at Nellis Air Force Base in Nevada, where that original competition was held. What does it mean to you? It means an awful lot. We proved that we were the best. Okay, let's show it. Nearly 73 years later, mission accomplished been a life mission. <laughs> David Martin, CBS News, the Pentagon. I got the chills watching that story. I'm so glad they're getting the recognition they deserve. We'll be right back.